Hi everybody, Greg here at the Caddis Fly Shop, Oregon Fly Fishing Blog, Eugene, Oregon. Um, I'm getting ready to take off to go back home, back down to Ventura, California for about two weeks. I'm going to be jumping on the Selling Vessel Serenity now and heading out to the Channel Islands. Um, I'm going to be fishing these larger patterns. I'm targeting Yellowtail, Barracuda, and maybe, maybe Mahi Mahi, or Dorado, uh, as they're called here in, uh, in the West. I'm bringing two rods. I'm bringing a seven weight. This happens to be an Echo Badass glass. That's going to be all my surface stuff, especially for calico bass, surf perch, all those things that are right there along the rocky shore. For the larger fish, the yellowtail, the barracuda, the different tuna, um, mackerel, you name it, ten weight. Well, the seven weight floating line, the ten weight, I'm using a sinking line. This is a Airflow Depth Finder 400 grain. This is to get down deep. I'm going to be fishing in these anchovy patterns. Um, if I need to get down deeper, I have all these same patterns uh, with some weight as plows or minnows. I'm going to use a tapered leader, nine foot tapered saltwater leader on my floating stuff. Uh, for the stuff down deep, I'm going to be using fluorocarbon. I'm using 20 pound Rio. You can also use SA. Hatch makes a lot of great stuff as well. If I find that this is breaking, I'll go to 30 pound. But I'm going to start off with 20 pound in case they're leader shy. Start off at about eight feet, maybe as short as six feet. It all depends. And I'm just going straight, guys. Anyways, that's my setup. I bring a plethora of different fly patterns, different colors, different sizes. But basically, these are just um, these are just bonefish flies, and I'll use those for the calico. And then, of course, for the bigger stuff, clouds or minnows, uh, different deceivers, you name it. I even have some squid patterns in here. Uh, if you don't have a boat, I highly recommend a Captain Vaughn Podmore out of Huntington Beach, Salty Water Fly Fishing HB. Um, lots of good information on the YouTube channel that he has, along with his friends from Superfly on YouTube. But he does offer trips out to the Channel Islands, including Catalina. Um, take a look at his website. It looks awesome. And hopefully someday I'll be able to meet up with him and, uh, and get some fish. So it'd be fun. I highly recommend if you haven't tried tuna fishing, get out there. Uh, the cool thing with ocean fishing is you never know what you're going to catch. It could be a yellowtail, it could be a mackerel, it could be a mako shark. Uh, we've even we've even hooked up my uncle John Jackpot, who I'm going to see here in a few days. Uh, even hooked up with a selfish a few years ago. Um, but I want to give a little shout out to my second cousin. I don't know him that well. He lives out there in Huntington Beach. His name is Nicholas. Uh, this kid is a is a fisher man. Uh, his aunt used to send me photos, and I'll put a couple of photos up on the on the on the uh, on the video. Uh, but this kid is smart. Uh, he blurs out any identification in the photos that give away the location of his fishing spot. So, anyways, I hope this helps and uh, get out there, get your fly wet.